Welcome to Scrintle workflow video number four, collaboration and teamwork. Inside Scrintle, we can actually work with other people on different project boards, cards, and other items inside of Scrintle. And where this might come in very handy is doing things such as, say, journal clubs. One thing you can do is you could create, say, a board for each individual paper or, say, a particular uh, journal club meeting. So every time you get together, you could collaborate on a particular board, and that board could be for a particular paper or just a collection of things that you're doing for that particular session. And each individual can take part in creating cards, adding content, changing things, and adding their own unique input towards the topic of discussion. Along with the usual just plain content, you could also add the web links, tags, tasks, and other things that can pop up in the Scrintle search pane for different objects that you can interact with inside of the platform. Now, having multiple people working on this might get a little confusing with remembering who did what and when, and this is where the search feature by user comes in very handy when it comes to Scrintle and searching through who did what and when they did it. So let's say I created this board. It has the unique ID for a particular paper, uh, site key, and this is going to be the board for my journal club for this particular session. So what I might do is then go into um, actions and share or publish. And what this will let me do is invite users by email and they have to be Scrintle users. So if, it, if your user is not on a Scrintle account, then you can't invite them to collaborate with you. But as soon as you invite them, they can now interact with this board and what's on it, and they can put things on this board. So once we've done that, after they've done whatever they wanted to do, edit, add, you know, tasks, links, tags, whatever you want to do, we have the ability to search not just globally across, say, multiple boards that encompass multiple journal club sessions, but we also have the ability to search individual boards. So where this comes into play and how it can be leveraged is if you have a board for every say journal club session or each individual paper uh, that could be a lot of content with a lot of different people across a large span of time so that might be when you want to go to the global search where you could search by an individual user for a larger chunk of time and you can say i want to see everything that derek over there has done on every journal club meeting that we've had together and that's something that you can do. You can go over here, go to user, and you can find all the users that have interacted with all the content that you have access to. Now, another approach is that instead of doing individual boards for every session or every paper, you could just have one large board for the journal club, and you continuously add new content to that individual board. That way you're not constantly having to send out invites, everyone goes to the same place, it's just a particular section of that place. And what that will let you do is inside of each individual board, you have the exact same features available. You can search by user, by time frame. So we're not limited to just that global view that could pick up a lot of other unrelated things. We can actually search within the actual singular board itself for that subset of content from the overarching whole. Also, when searching your tasks from, a, say, a journal session where you want to have things to come back to and follow up on, that tasks pane contains the ability to search by individual user as well. So while you might have a global search for all tasks, you could also easily filter this down to a particular journal club date or by just a user. And in this way, you can easily filter down to just tasks that that person has left behind and it might just be ideas to follow up on, but you could see who contributed them. So the global level of view of tasks can also show you individual content on a collaborative team. And just another idea for something you might be able to do in Scrintle with say the journal club example, is we could also just have a board for journal club that then could contain you know, the dropped boards for each individual paper or session on this larger canvas. And this doesn't take into account something like, say, daily notes where you link to individual items you've made on that day, but just to share one board, you could just have a journal club board, invite other people to it, and then you have the record of everything that your club has done chronologically through time. And this could be a great way of you know linking across and saying, okay, we did this paper, then this paper, then this paper, and keeping track of 
the work that your club has done together as a whole. And again, because it's on this journal club, you could also do that search. Um, but this only goes to the board level, not the individual items. So there's a variety of ways that you could interact with this particular workflow and make it work for something like a journal club. But remember, we're not limited to just that example. I just wanted to continue something for continuity in the hypothetical. But you could use this type of method for collaboration across different types of projects, different types of mediums. You could do it with video content, links, tasks. All of this stuff can be shared and you can search and slice and dice by user, chronological time frame, tags, you name it. So there's a broad, large variety of ways that you can leverage these features in Scrintle for collaborating with other team members and under other individuals who you'd like to collaborate with. Mm -hmm.